Hey, any fish. 21st December 2017. And, uh, you know, I was prompted in my spirit to throw this out to you guys when I first I saw this little trifecta here of magic and lies between Bowie, astrologers, and these billionaires faking space. You know, pretty pretty much a trifecta of darkness there. But nonetheless, this one here was what caught me the shortest day astrologers warn worst of 2017. So, of course, you know, got to go there. Some weird times, numbers, so forth. But what really caught me, the winter solstice, also known as Yule, midwinter, the shortest day of the year and the longest night occurs at 1128. Well, right away, I just noticed that that's 12. 1, 1, 2, and 8. 12. It's got a little 12 in the middle. And 11 and 10 are 21. So, you know, I'm just seeing the 12s and 21s all over still. But the short little day with a great many names also may be the worst day of the year, according to astrologers. The reason? Saturn. Right in the middle of Saturnalia. Apparently the sun will pass, will appear. Now that's a weird word. The sun will appear to pass in front of the constellation Capricorn hours after Saturn does likewise. This will cause both these orbs to line up for the first time since 1664. And I'll link this, and you can go through it, but the 11, 12, all that stuff, right? And it's just weird, but that prompted me to go to my calculator. It just did. And to go back from today, 2,112 days. Brings me to March 10th, 2012. Not much, really, in Wiki. It is the 69th day of the year. But... uh Back on this day, which, you know, this is a very popular website from my understanding, only two historical events occurred that day. And one was at least 130 rockets were fired into Israel. Okay? Now, that doesn't happen all that often, right? 130 rockets. This was a big deal. It was, it was quite, uh, quite a scene on this day. Okay? So, at the same time, the only two historical events that day. We have a 33rd Big East men's basketball tournament. Louisville beat Cincinnati 50-44. 13. 13. 13. And if you look at numbers, you know that 13, basically, rebellion and lawlessness. And what really kind of like sent this over the edge for me was the fact that we are now lawless. Okay, this man, cardinal law, had carnal knowledge that the Catholic Church was doing what they were doing, breaking the law. They are lawless. That's what they are. They're lawless. Rebellion and lawlessness. 21 and 13 both represent pretty much the same thing. And we got them both culminating today, where there were 130 rockets fired at Israel. During the 33rd Big East Men's Basketball Tournament, of course. So, you know, of course I have to share that with you. It's just, it's just a culmination of things that just prompt me to have to give you basically a heads up. You know what I'm saying? So, that's a what I'm a doing. Lots more to share with you. This is very, very, uh, interesting to say the least. I, I'm gonna try and do a video on it. But, um, please, Heads up today, keep looking up, always pray up, certainly armor up, and seek Jesus diligently. Peace and grace to you, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 